Hey, we have here today another integral on the board. This one's from the MIT Integration B 2022 semifinals round two, problem four. We have the integral from zero to pi over six, natural log of square root of three plus tan x dx. Okay, and the thing that really jumps up for me, I think I did a problem very similar to this like quite a few months back, maybe like four months back, I don't know. But there's a few important differences. We have this square root of three here. Like usually when you have a problem like this, it's just the trig function in here, not adding something else. And also, I think in my other problem, the upper bound was pi over two. So I think these two things are gonna make this problem just a little bit trickier, but I'm still gonna just try a substitution and use these bounds. I'm just gonna add these two bounds together. So for my u substitution, I'm gonna substitute pi over six minus x. And then I'm just gonna rearrange and get a value for x. We'll see that x is pi over six minus u. And I'm gonna get my derivative. dx is gonna be just minus du. And I'll make this substitution. And the nice thing with this is it just kind of flips our bounds around. So plugging pi over six in, we'll have a zero here. Plugging in a zero, we're gonna have just pi over six. Then we're gonna have natural log square root of three. And now in for tan, we'll plug in this x. So we're gonna have tangent of pi over six minus u. And we'll just have a minus du. But what I'm gonna do with this minus sign is I'm gonna bring it out front of the integral and just use to flip the bounds around. Okay, so when we swap that, we're back to the same bounds we had here originally, zero to pi over six. And then at this point, I'm just gonna to wanna to focus on this expression here, tan pi over six minus u. And for this, what I'm gonna do is use the angle difference formula for tangent. Okay, now we have our angle difference formula for tangent over here on the right. What you can do if you have a hard time remembering this is you can just have tangent as sine over cosine, and then maybe you remember those angle difference formulas. Or if you need to, you can use my trick cheat sheet, and we've got this on there. Okay, so using this formula, we're just gonna break down tan pi over six minus u. So for pi over six is gonna be our a, and u is gonna be our b. So we'll just plug in our values. So tan of a is gonna be tan pi over six minus tan of u, and this is gonna be all over one plus tan pi over six, tan of u. Well, the value of tan pi over six is gonna be just one over square root of three. So then we'll just fill in the rest of our values, the same thing in the denominator, one plus one over square root of three tan of u. And I think I prefer to get these square root of threes out of the denominator like that. So what I'm gonna do is multiply by one. We'll just multiply by square root of three over square root of three. And so we'll multiply that in here. And so that's gonna give me one minus square root of three tan of u. And this is gonna be all over square root of three, multiplying this one in plus just tan of u. Okay, so now that we've updated our value for tan pi over six minus u right here, I wanna take this square root of three and add it to this, but I wanna get a common denominator. So we'll just use this same common denominator, square root of three plus tan u, and then we'll multiply it in the numerator. And so I'm gonna just distribute in this square root of three here. So that's gonna give me square root of three times square root of three. We're gonna have three plus square root of three tan u. And then from this piece, we're gonna have plus one minus square root of three tan u all over this common denominator, which is just square root of three plus tan of u. But this is pretty nice because the square root of three tan u's are gonna cancel out. Three plus one is four. So this whole thing is gonna be just four over square root of three plus tan of u. Okay, so now that we've updated our natural log expression and we've rearranged this thing, I'm just gonna do a variable change now. Because it's a definite integral, I can change the variable name without messing anything up. So we're gonna change back to x just so we can compare to the original integral. So let me just rewrite this. And now just using log properties, I can write this as ln four minus ln square root of three plus tan x. And then when I do that, I'm gonna break it into two integrals. So let's see how that's gonna look. We'll have our zero to pi over six. This is just gonna be, this first one's just gonna be natural log of four dx. And then the second one we're gonna subtract because we're dividing here, same bounds. And this is gonna be just natural log square root of three tan x dx. Now this thing here is really nice because it's just a constant value. We could bring it up front and then we're just integrating one. So this is gonna be no problem here. But before I do that, I'm gonna just change my four. Let me just write four as two squared. And then what I can do is take this two out front and write it this way. And then from here, I wanna just look at this thing and just notice, look at our original integral. We'll call our original integral i. And let's just notice that this is, we're subtracting, but this is the exact same thing as the original integral, okay? Same variable, same everything. So we're just gonna call this one i. But what that's gonna allow me to do is add an i on both sides of this equation. If I'm equating this to this, if we add i here, then now we have two copies of the integral, two i. 
because if I add I here, it's gonna cancel here, and we'll have two copies. But then on the right side of the equation, we're just gonna have this simple integral from zero to pi over six, two ln two dx. I'm just gonna integrate that. So we're gonna have two ln two x just evaluated from zero to pi over six. Now, before I evaluate this, I'm just gonna deal with my twos here and we can just divide by two on both sides. So if we divide out a two, we can cancel here, cancel here. When we plug in a zero here, this is just gonna be zero. So all we need to do is plug in pi over six. So for our final solution, we're just gonna have pi over six times natural log of two. So that's it, I thought that was a really good problem, pretty interesting. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.